Introduction What is a refrigeration? The process of maintaining and achieving a temperature lower than the atmospheric temperature to cool or preserve food or other products is known as refrigeration. In other words, refrigeration is artificial cooling system used in many household and industrial applications to preserve or cool the vine, fruits, or vegetables. What is refrigeration cycle? The refrigeration cycle is a thermodynamic cycle that is used to remove heat from a specific area you want to cool. The refrigeration cycle is also known as a heat pump cycle. This cycle is designed for refrigeration systems, air conditioning systems, and heat pumps. The heat pump is a mechanical device used to transfer heat from a lower temperature reservoir to a high temperature reservoir. Refrigeration cycle working. A refrigerator works on the refrigeration cycle. A refrigeration cycle works in the following way. Suction. Compression. Condensation. Throttling. Evaporation. Suction process. First of all, the refrigerant is introduced into the compression chamber of the compressor. The refrigerant enters the compression chamber in a vapor state. Two. Adiabatic compression, 1 to 2. The compressor has a piston that moves up and down inside the compression chamber. As the refrigerant enters the compression chamber, the inlet and outlet valves close, and the piston compresses the refrigerant. Due to the compression process, the temperature of the vapor refrigerant increases from T1 to T2, and pressure increases from P1 to P2. Line 1 to 2 of the above given graph represents this process. After the compression process, the compressed refrigerant enters the condenser. 3. Condensation process, 2 to 3. Line 2 to 3 represents the condensation process. As the compressed refrigerant enters the condenser, the condenser condenses the compressed vapor refrigerant at constant pressure. During the condensation process, the compressed refrigerant transfers its heat to the hot reservoir. Due to this heat transfer process, the vapor refrigerant converts into a liquid state. During this process, the enthalpy and volume of the refrigerant decrease. However, the pressure of the refrigerant remains the same during this whole process. After this process, the liquid refrigerant is transferred into the throttling valve for further processing. 4. Throttling process, 3 to 4. After the condensation process, the liquid refrigerant pushes into a throttling valve. As the refrigerant enters into this valve, it expands, due to that, the pressure and temperature of the liquid refrigerant reduce, as you can see in the graph. However, the volume and enthalpy of the refrigerant increase. After this process, the liquid refrigerant still remains in a liquid state, due to that, we need to pass it from the evaporator to convert the liquid into a vapor state. 5. Evaporation process, 4 to 1. Line 4 to 1 of the above given PV diagram and TS diagram of the refrigeration cycle represent this process. The evaporator is connected to a cold reservoir. As the low pressure and low temperature liquid refrigerant enters the evaporator, the refrigerant absorbs heat from the cold reservoir and converts it into a vapor state. During this process, the volume and enthalpy of the refrigerant increase but its pressure and temperature remain constant. After this evaporation process, the vapor refrigerant again transfers to the compressor, and the whole cycle repeats. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe our channel.